Welcome to the Lifebox Media Channel here with Laura Park Lincoln, actor extraordinaire. I mean, man, I mean, everybody see you. I mean, brand new uh, Rosebud, by the way. Congratulations on that. That is yes. awesome. Thank and, you. And everybody remembers you, especially from, you know, Friday the 13th. You know, you were the first person to kind of like stand up to Jason and show kind of women empowerment all at the same age and time and everything else. Which is, I think that's really cool. And like I told you, even my 14-year-old granddaughter thinks you just kick butt. You know, I mean, you know. I love that it has it has gone through all of the ages. I mean, I'll get right? six-year-olds in here that are talking about it, and I'll get teenagers who relate the character of Tina to being bullied. Right. And they feel like, you know, she stood up to it. And, right. And they're, they're, like, getting some comfort from that, which you would just never think she did a horror movie. <laughs> right. So I love that. And, 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 you know, the idea was, and I think that, you know, you... And Kane Hodder and I just talked to him a little bit earlier about the fact of you brought the expressions out, and you know, and, and Kane and you guys and, and your facial expressions, and you were like damned and determined, and yeah. you get startled for a minute. And I love the yeah. idea that you would suddenly, and I know you teach this in your classes, we'll get in a minute, but just suddenly you all of a sudden you'd switch from being scared to mad to scared to mad again, and all of a sudden, like, no, damn it, this isn't going to happen this way. Right. And I, lo I love the idea, the timing, how quick it was right. that you change your moods that fast right. and fire back. So, I mean, is that just all the years of experience you've had in acting and everything else? Uh, it, it may be that. It was also, uh, Tina was very confused. She'd been abused by so many people, the right. doctors and the leaders, the teachers. So she was just very confused, even though she knew things were real. And, and right. so she would have some fear and then decide to fight it. So she, she had some erratic thoughts going on. Right. And I wanted that to portray. Oh, yeah, and you did one hell of a job. It's still one of my favorites Thank of all time. You. That's the first one my granddaughter actually watched of all the Friday the 13th so cool. was yours. And that was because of you, because you coming on the show and getting to know you. And, and it was also a favorite but of mine, but that's one of the reasons I said I just had you on in Lifebox Media Channel. And right. she says, Rebel, who'd you have on? And she says, I had well, this young lady on right here. And she says, Oh my gosh, well, we have to watch the movie now. And oh, of course, it came so on that cool. weekend and we watched it, and you know, and now she's a fan of yours too. Now, now you also teach acting, and yes, I do. you jumped out during a pandemic time. It was really hard for everybody. And right. you came out and you started doing things video uh, and, and online and everything else. Right. And, it was, and it was kind of stepped ahead of something that wasn't, it was frowned upon before. Yeah, I, I mean, auditions all went to self tapes. So right. So we were doing them. And, and during the pandemic, everyone kind of felt that they should start following their dreams, chasing right. their dreams. So I stayed very busy <laughs> during that time. Yes, ma'am. A whole new group of actors that started working because we were shooting films during the pandemic. Right, yes, ma'am. I did five over the last two and a half years. That's a lot of films. I mean, it was crazy <laughs> okay. and it was wonderful. So um, I'm, I'm excited about that. And, and, and you touched something very close to my heart, you know. As the actor side of me is that, you know, this part here, you know, yes. writing a book on not getting scammed in Hollywood yes. and everything else it is, I, it's something that, you know, kind of is almost a taboo thing a lot of times. People don't want to say it is, but we all know there's BS in Hollywood, you know, That's and right. BS and everything, but, you know, as and it's it, everywhere, it's right. in every state, you know, right. it's in every state, it's the fake radio auditions where Disney's looking for the next star, right. Disney's not doing that, they're not looking in your town from a radio call. Right. You know, those are generally scams, and uh, I call them very expensive weekends to nowhere. <laughs> that, that's, a good, you know? that's, that's a good one. And and it's like that timeshare deal. It's going to say everything for nothing. You know what I mean? It's very much like that. And right. It really preys on people's hearts and, and their money, of course, and their hearts, and then they have embarrassment over it, and it, it takes away their dreams because they don't want to go after it again. And uh, that just really touches me, so I, I do speak about that quite a bit. And congratulations on, I've seen a lot of your actors getting work out there yes. often, you know, and of course, you know, yes. we, we follow each other on social media, so I see a lot of it and everything else right. it is, but it's really neat to sit there and see, you know, when all of a sudden you and I will talk about something and all of a sudden you had like one week, you had or like 10 days, you had like five actors just go jump right out and it was like, there they went, you know, it was like, you know, here they are, here they are. And I'm like, that is really right. cool because, you know, and, and the Texas market's a really cool market too. Right, but they're, but they're shooting everywhere. Yeah, no, but I'm right. saying, but you're also in a really cool yes. market too, you know. Interesting market for sure. I wish we had more union projects there. Yes, sir. But yes, ma'am. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I got bumped. I said, I'm sorry, sir. You know, it's just a phrase of speech. <laughs> uh, you know, because we have all the sub tape auditions, people are booking everywhere. Yes. Now, we do have two shows right now in Texas shooting, which is Bass Reeves, which is a takeoff off of uh, Yellowstone. I think I had that right. And we have The Chosen, which is shooting right there in Dallas. Nice. So actors are getting work. They're getting their first background work on it, which I love extra in background work. I've never been embarrassed about that for new actors. It's just a way to get your feet wet, see what's going on, 
and most actors have done it in their start. Right? You, you better, you know, I, I know for sure. <laughs> I mean, I think You appreciate so. it. I yeah, think you I appreciate, appreciate it. it. You can't have a good scene if you just have a talking head. In the scene, we need background, we need atmosphere. Right. So I think background is a very important part of putting the show together. So right. I just kind of think of that in a different way. I, I love that. And tell us where everybody can find you if they want to check out. You're getting great acting classes online or even yes, in person. Yes, both. Yes, well, it's Actors Audition Studios, right? And also, you can just look me up by name, Laura Park Lincoln. You will, you will find all of my information, I think, probably from that. <laughs> and, uh, and someone will get back to you. And where can we find you to get your book? Uh, it's on Amazon, and it's also through my studio, Actors Audition Studios. So... Have you gotten? I, I've heard and I've seen on online a lot of positive comments about the idea of you saving people a lot of money for that. So I, yes. I really think it's really cool that you've done a nice job pushing that out there because the young actor, actress out there is sitting there looking at it. They, they, they need a guide. They, they need a guide. I never had a guide. I didn't right. come from no. money. I didn't come from an acting family. Right. So um, I, I teach with that in mind. I teach with the heart and mind of, of raising, mentoring the next group and also helping the actors that are established restart a career that may have stalled. Right. Right. Market back here. I love doing that also. And that, that kind of gives you you're the outside person looking in. Yeah. And, and you have the experience to do it. So you always yeah. say, hey man, do you think about this and this? And somebody's like, oh man, you know, I didn't think about that. Yeah, and, I was just showing one of the actresses over here, uh, one of my students, Babe McGuire, and yeah, she went silver during COVID. We kept her silver and she's working all the time now. So that's that was wow. really cool. It's a really hard, but that's a really hard step to as an actor. Yeah, it is. It's a hard it's a really hard, but that's a really hard step as an actor. To sit there and say, oh, mess, you know, I joke and sit there and say, this is blonde. Right, <laughs> right, exactly. You have to decide when do I move right. in that next age category. Now, I have another actress that has dark hair, but she's younger, and she's like, well, I could, I have some gray, I could let it go gray. And I had a talk with her, and I said, it's not time for you to go gray yet. Just because everyone else is, she still has another 15 years before going gray. So I had to stop her from that idea. Right, yeah, so not everybody's George Clooney on that part, you know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. And they criticize him for it, so. <laughs> You know, but but you yeah. but see so you step up and you sit there and say because your experience you know right. hey look you can still because you know this part she can still you can work. still get a lot of work at this age and, and right. I think that's something that somebody needs that honesty right. Laura to really I sit there so. say so you know I think so. because it's easy to say well everybody's doing this so I'll I'll do the same and yeah right. you know you could go you could go gray and you could make yourself try to look older but it just wasn't her time yet. So right. we had to have that talk. <laughs> no, well, I thank you so much for taking time. It's great to finally meet you in person. Oh, I mean, no, you know, that was so crazy. I, I, mean, was like, <laughs> I was like, I didn't see you in person on that video. <laughs> no, 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 and, and we'll catch up soon. But Lifebox yeah. Media Channel, you can go check out Laura Park Lincoln thank you so everywhere. Much. It's been a pleasure. Make sure to go get her book yes, right thank there. You so much. And we are out.